Hey, what is up? This is Flynn Patrick again, and in this video, we will be releasing the number 109 player in the NBA for 2017-2018. We are nine away from that top 100, so let's get started. So this player isn't a well-known player, but I thought he played really well this year, and I think that he finished the year really strong, and I think that he absolutely deserved to crack our top 120. So, the number 109 player in the NBA for 2017-2018 is going to be Montrezl Harrell of the Los Angeles Clippers. Not a well-known player. He was a second round pick for Houston in 2015. He played decent for them last season. He was traded to the Clippers in that Chris Paul deal. And at the beginning of the season, he really didn't even play much. He actually got some DNPs, which means did not play, which means he just sat on the bench and didn't even get to see the court the whole game. I got a lot of those in high school. Well, anyways, once the 2018 calendar year came around, Mr. Harrell took his game up a notch big time. And it was big time enough to where he was able to crack our top 120. I mean, he finished the year strong. In April, he averaged 16 points a game. He scored at least 10 points in 22 of his last 26 games. He shot over 60% from the field. But let's drop the stats for a second and talk about the eye test. Because when you're combining the eye test here, Harrell was absolutely a positive energy force for the Los Angeles Clippers. He is, in my opinion, the biggest reason why the Clippers were able to remain in the playoff hunt. They didn't make the playoffs. And honestly, without Harrell, they probably would have finished even lower. And, well, they could have gotten a higher pick as well. So that might have been a double-edged sword. Montrezl Harrell is likely not a name that is known among casual NBA fans, but I think he played really, really well. He was a big spark for that Clippers team. He made plays in the clutch. Montrezl Harrell being this high on the list might be a mini surprise to casual NBA fans, but I absolutely believe he played well enough to crack our top 120 and almost even made our top 100. Another big factor is that he is going to be an unrestricted free agent this season, so that means that his contract is running out and he can sign with any team that he wants. I would imagine the way he played, the Los Angeles Clippers would absolutely want to bring him back to LA. That being said, he did only make $1.5 million last year. Well, only. I absolutely think that he is a player who could low-key be one of those random guys who gets $10 million a year this offseason because I am telling you the way he played. NBA GMs have taken note of him. Thank you so much for joining us. We're releasing daily content. We will be back with more shortly.